Today's cultural report contains explicit language. Parental discretion is advised. What's going on? It's Tiffany Bacon with your cultural report. Let's take a look at the hit play Top Dog Underdog, now playing at the Walnut Street Theater. Watch me close. Three card throws the cards, lightning fast. Three card, that's me and I'm gonna last. Now, watch me throw, cause here I go. <laughs> Two brothers, um, and they, they were forced to rely upon each other at a very young age. And um, we meet them in this place, which is just pretty much a slice of their life, where um, they're still codependent as they have been for probably the better part of almost 20 years. And um, we're living in Booth's place. I play the character Lincoln, Roderick plays Booth. And um, just pretty much, if you imagine 365 days of the year, Top Dog Under Dog grabs this volatile situation over the course of about three days out of that year and gives us that. And we get to peek in on that. Right, right, right. Why don't you take that damn coat off too? Bad enough you gotta wear it around all day. You come over here wearing it? What my women gonna say? What women? I got a date with Grace tomorrow. Uh, she in love with me again. She just don't know. Mm. Ain't no woman can love her like me. Or no man. She see you in that outfit, it's gonna reflect bad on me. The whole dynamic of, uh, of the brothers um, and them just having to be there for each other and hold each other down because their parents, you know, uh, left them when they were uh, 16 and 11. So they had to, had to kind of had to fend for themselves ever since then. And, uh, and yeah, that's. You know, that's that's my source right there. That's my lifeline, my brother. Man, I'm getting too old to be sleeping in that chair. It's my place. You don't got no place. Cookie, she threw you out. And you can't seem to get another woman. You lucky I let you stay. Every Friday you say me casa and sukas. And every Friday you come here with your paycheck. Today is Thursday, and I tell you, brother, it's a long way from Friday to Friday. Whole lot of things can happen. Whole lot of bad feelings can surface any rough while your brother say wait for you to bring in your shit. Got my Thursday hit on Link. Look at the food, man. Whenever I go to prepare for a role, I'm my own source of resource, of, of research. You know, I start with me. Whatever I have within me or that I know about that's germane to the character, I start there and then I start to kind of fill in the dots and connect the dots and fill in the blanks, I should say. Um, I have a, a personal connection this, to this because I have a relative that actually used to throw three card money. So for me, it was just thinking about all those, that, that relative that since passed on. But for me, in preparation for this role, it was just uh, recounting all the stories uh, from my brother, um, recounting stories from my brother's friends who, uh, some of them cats still around to this day, you know, mm -hmm. doing what they do. Um, and, and, and then just immersing myself into the script, into the character, and just trying to slip the skin of the character on chameleon like. So that was my process for this production. And, and um, my situation is I'm the youngest of five boys. And um, so I've, I've had sibling relationships my whole life where they may not have revolved around a similar situation like this, but brother to brother relationships are just that. So it was about connecting with what I know from my own life and bringing that experience to this dysfunctional situation <laughs> and putting on that dysfunction and just making sure that um, that I represented a real brother. And me and Rob, we have um, a unique chemistry that was there probably from the very beginning, from before the first read. I want to say before the first read, but before the first read. And just letting that natural sibling uh, relationship bleed through into Suzanne Lloyd Park's work. I got you to meet. I got me the scrimps. I wanted the scrimps. You said you wanted to meet this morning when I left here. You said you wanted to meet. Here, 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 take the scraps. Here, here. No sweat. Our audiences are getting bombarded with, um, with a, a lot of productions that look pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, this isn't to take anything away from anybody. In fact, I, I have to give kudos to a person like Tyler Perry, for example, who has not only made an amazing name and a, an amazing career for himself, but 
I was just at Broadway seeing Streetcar Desire where they did it with an all-black cast and when I was reading some of the forewords, the reason they're doing Cat on a Hot Tin Roof and Streetcar and all that with all-black cast is because of the success Tyler Perry had. So his success, which is in the Chipman Circus, has transcended over to Broadway and they're trying to recreate that success in their own way. So props, you know, it, it, it helps the genre he represents and it helps the more traditional theater. However, um, we, we have an abundance of that type of theater and I don't feel like um, those who sit in the position that I'm in, independent producers, do enough of classical works that speak to a more generic and a more realistic sense of the African American experience pulling back the veil of some of those things that are not talked about as much to give a different look, to give us a more human look. And I think, I think that it's very important that we do do our part to honor that part of our history as well. I want to work hard, I want to take risks, and all of you can say, you, you shitty, motherfucking, pathetic, limp dick Uncle Tom. All you can tell me is how you don't do no more but what I be wanting to do. I mean, here I am trying to earn a living. Are you standing in my way? You stand in my way, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, you sorry, all right. I can't be hustling no more, bro. What you do all day in the hustle? That's honest work. Dressed up like some cracker-ass white man. Some dead president that people shoot at you all day, sure sound like a hustle to me. Well, people know the real deal. And when people know the real deal, that ain't no hustle. Show's hot. Show's hot. Show's hot. Yeah, man. Yeah, Come yeah, see yeah. us, you know, like get it in on stage. You know, hear a good story. I mean, hear a plot. Laugh yeah. a little, you know. Um, yeah. Cry a little. It's a roller coaster. I yeah. mean, you know, just, yeah, get down. So, come and be one with us. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Definitely.